So just over a year ago, we actually posted our first video based on our development of an adjustable awning bracket for our genie. And that video has actually gathered quite a lot of interest and comments from different people around the world. And as promised, if we developed a version two, that we would actually share it and um, possibly the reasons why we developed a version two. So the first change we did to the first one was that it was just a little bit too low. So we actually re cut one of the brackets uh, that gave us a little bit more height. And we've been using that awning bracket now for actually a year and four months and testing it on, on different uh, road conditions and in different situations in rain as well. And probably the toughest uh, challenge it's had was the December, January trip that we took through the Khalakhari on the quite dusty, quite hot and um, quite corrugated roads. And the awning bracket has held up extremely well. It is very stable on the trailer itself, and you can see that from the videos that we've shown of it being towed in the Khalakhari on those rough roads. So stability is not an issue. Uh, the only issue that we were having with the bracket was the deployment of it in the sense that it, we could lift it up and drop it down, but it took two of us to lift it up and drop it down each time. So we've been thinking about how could we improve that system so possibly only one of us is needed to actually lift the bracket into place or drop it back down. Through quite a bit of research and thinking, we've come up with the idea of using a linear rail to try and help guide the bracket up and down. We've also swapped over to using a metal to get a thinner profile for the bracket but the same strength as we were getting from the aluminium so that's also just a test on the new bracket. But this video here just covers what we've done and how it works and possibly you could get some ideas from what we've done to implement in your own build or construction on your particular trailer. If there are any questions or ideas put them in the comments below and we can engage with you. We've now come up with bracket number two, or version two, on the right-hand side. And one of the major differences is we're trying out steel versus aluminium. And we'll just show you guys what the weight difference is between the two. Looks like a kilogram more, eh? So some of the main differences that we've designed into this bracket, as Craig said before, is just the metal that we're using is mild steel versus aluminium. We've also gone for a easier design to put together and assemble, which you would have seen in the assembly video a little bit earlier. And we've created a tensioner on the side here, so it's easy to tension up and down when you're actually moving. Then we've got this locking bolt at the top here with a nice little handle. And that serves two purposes. When the awning is down, it actually holds it very tightly in place. And then when the awning is actually pushed up, it actually helps to locate and keep the awning in its upright position. And then you'll also notice here the linear rails that we're using as well, just to help guide the awning as it lifts up and down. We have yet to see how these will perform in under dust conditions or extremely dusty sort of travel on gravel roads, but uh, that's part of developing up is actually experimenting and seeing how things perform and then making changes. So who knows, we might have a version three coming out soon. So that just gives you the, and then this can be tensioned up as just an additional sort of tensioner if you're needing, to, needing it. We've had a lot of questions since our previous videos regarding the mounting and these brackets are designed to go on these slats only so this is your typical front runner slats that you buy
here you can find a link to our version 1 bracket and also a link to our latest Khalakhadi video. If you want to see what we get up to next, please like and subscribe.